Every new piece of information that comes out about a Fitchburg police shooting, the family and friends of the man who died have more questions about what really happened. 15 Investigates Elizabeth Wattis is trying to get those answers. August 12th, 2024. 911, what's the address of the emergency? Fitchburg police get a 911 hang up call. Yeah, never mind. The dispatcher calls the unknown person back. An answer. But silence on the other line. Officers say they show up to the area. A neighbor tells them a couple was fighting inside an apartment. They knock. No answer. So they go in. This is when Fitchburg police say one of the men charges officers with a knife. Police shoot and kill him. The 28-year-old man who died is Kevin Price. Hi, uh, someone, there's an issue, though. The very person who called for help in the first place. We have no contact orders. And we saw each other. And he tried to break my neck. Where did this happen? You know what? Never mind. You go, oh my God, he was shot. Oh my God, oh, but he, called. he was the one that called 911. PJ Chamberlain was shocked to learn months after losing his friend that Price was the one who made the 911 call. I, I hear someone who's scared, who's, who's feels like he's in trouble of some kind. I, I hear someone who's desperate for help. Price was an artist. He was caring and compassionate and creative. A proud UW-Madison student who worked at the university radio station. I think he had a show at Thursday nights at 7. <laughs> Chamberlain says inconsistencies in the story emerged after two law enforcement agencies described what happened differently. Here's Fitchburg Police Chief Alfonso Morales hours after the August shooting. One of those individuals was armed with a weapon and charged the officers. According to the DOJ's release, written three months later... This statement says, you know, that they located him with a knife um, and then shot him, discharged uh, his weapon, striking Price. And there isn't a statement in here saying that he came at them with a knife or, or that they, you know, gave him directions to drop it or, you know, that they were... Um, Men or that he was menacing in any way. Did Price charge officers or did he simply have a knife? Chamberlain says the answers to those questions could change the entire narrative. Just getting the truth out there. But it's that deadly call for help that sticks with him most. Every time there's more information that comes out, it kind of like you feel like you lose that person all over again, um, especially that 911 call. As much as it may hurt, Chamberlain says he is determined to learn even more, urging police to release the body camera footage from that day inside the apartment. Most of the times, it seems like when a footage clears, you know, law enforcement of any wrongdoing, they're pretty quick to release it, even if there's an investigation going on. So it does seem very questionable to me that they have yet to release it this far out. Without Price here to tell his own story, Chamberlain is determined to help add context to its pages. For me, you know, the question of what happened to Kevin, not only on that day, but leading up to that day is really important. There's another big part of this story. We know that Price was taken to SSM Health St. Mary's Hospital after he was shot by police three times in the chest. He was there for three days before he died, and Chamberlain says Price's family wasn't notified until he was already dead. They have questioned SSM Health about their policies for emergency contacts, and they say they will not talk about specific cases because of HIPAA laws. They did email me saying, quote, in a typical situation, when a patient arrives at our emergency department without a support person, our team asks them if they have anyone they would like to contact. In the event the patient is unable to respond to questions, we use emergency contacts listed in their medical records. Elizabeth, I think a lot of people see this story and their first thought is, what about body cam footage? Yeah, uh, my open records request for that body cam footage has been denied by both Fitchburg Police and the DOJ because they say the investigation is ongoing and releasing it could compromise it. Mm -hmm. I want to note that it is state law that the DOJ does take over an investigation when officers use force and someone dies. So the fact that Fitchburg Police aren't saying much about the case right now publicly is not uncommon. We are still waiting on the district attorney to learn if that Fitchburg officer who shot Price will be charged. All right, Elizabeth, we know you will stay on the story. Thank Thanks. you.